Hi guys, this is Mary, and I know it has been an incredibly long time since I have done a video, but oh, I have so much to tell you. My life has gone crazy for a little bit, and now, now that I have a new computer, I can actually do my videos again. Yay, new computer! <laughs> um, and I have a new tablet so I can start reading books online again and I I found um oyster which I love oyster have some pretty good uh books on there and I just got back from vacation and yeah, that was fun. We went to Orlando. I spent a week, a uh, weekend there. And we went to uh, Universal Studios, and yes, I did visit the Harry Potter. And when we went to the hotel, this was waiting for me. And on the inside, oh come on, open. <laughs> now I want, don't want to open for me. There we go. On the inside was this cutie, which I named Hootie. He's my little hoot owl. And his head turns all the way around so he can do, he can pull Linda Blair and be the exorcist. <laughs> Um, and also, I had this sweet little, um, uh, welcome note from, uh, the pre uh, Vice President of Universal Studios welcoming us and everything. And, um, Also, the thing that I'm most happy about is I did get a wand from Ole Sanders, and my wand chose me. Yes, actually, my mom and I both got chosen, but mom didn't want her wand, so I got mine. And mine is the Holly model. Supposed to be Dragon Heart String. And yes, it is an interactive one. I have uh, the whole um, one chosen ceremony on my film. So if you do want to watch that, Give me a thing in the little doohickey below telling me you want to see my vacation uh, videos. And I will definitely do that. I have an awesome fi uh, view of when the dragon on top of Green Gods is blowing out uh, some fire. I It felt like I was right there to where I felt the heat. So it was pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, did, did all that, and, um, on the craft version, uh, uh, the craft portion, por the craft por uh, portion of this video, <laughs> I cannot talk, is <laughs> I have gotten back into the doing the farm. This is a plastic grocery bag that I am crocheting into plastic sleeping mats for the homeless people. This takes so long to gather all a whole lot of uh, um, plastic bags. But yeah, I'm ch I got a lot of people at my church who are so sweet and giving me 
plastic bag, crazy time they uh, I turn around now, and so yeah, plastic grocery bags, and this makes it nice and gushy, and it uh, keeps them from not having to sleep on the hard hard ground. You know what I mean? You like to have a little bit of a gushy. Yes, it's not much, but it's better than nothing at all. Um. Anyway, on to the books, the books that I have, I'm going to be starting to read this month. Well, one of them, I'm already like 10% in, which I'm loving. My new, my new Kindle, yay! Well, it's my Amazon Fire. Mom's playing hers right now. She's playing, uh, is that Cookie Jam? Yeah, she's she's playing Cookie Jam, so you may hear the game noise. Um, anyway, the book I'm reading right now is Stephen King's Under the Dome. And I've never, I don't really read a lot of Stephen King. I like his movies, but um, I just don't read very much of him. But I'm really enjoying this one so far, and I'm like 10% into it according to Oyster. Um, I'm, I also heard, uh, I think this was Benjamin Atom that had suggested it, so I had check this one out and um it's called trial by fire it's something about a rich apparently and he gave it a he said he was raving about it so i was curious about it and thought i'd give it a try why not you know and um as i was Watching Book Riot, they had a, they had a, a lady on there saying about this new book, uh, this book, and, um, she said it was like, uh, The Lovely Bones, which, oh my god, that book just, that, that, I didn't read the book, but I have seen the movie, and that movie, Oh, can I just say the feels, okay? The feelings. Oh. So she said if you basically like that, this one would be interesting. And it sounded interesting about what she said the premise was. So I thought I'd give this a try. It's the bones of you. And basically about a little girl again who was killed. And this lady is... Uh, trying to figure out what happened and it gives the point of the point of view of how the little girl died and what had happened what she sees before her death and all this and then you see the lady that is exploring about her um trying to investigate about her death getting to know the family and whatnot like that so i thought it would be a pretty interesting read I got, um, this was a recommendation to me because I love my Harry Potter, of course, and, um, it's, uh, Witch Week, and I thought it might be fun to read, so I thought, why not? Um, now, I'm not sure if I'm going to get through all of these, but... Um, <laughs> now my Kindle decides to act up and not want to switch back. One second. There we go. And, um, I haven't seen the, the 
I haven't read the book, but I've seen the movie, and I love the movie. It doesn't really have a cover. The Princess Bride. I thought that would be fun to read for once. And... Um... I know this one was supposed to be good, and I thought it might be fun to try to read. The Golem and the Genie. Oops, hold on. Okay. And, uh, oh, yes. Yeah. And since I was in such a Harry Potter mood, I decided to check this book out. I thought it would be interesting. Um, one second. Harry Potter and History. It's kind of interesting to see about it. So, um, also because I love, I loved the first, uh, Neil Gaiman movie, I mean a book I have read, which was the, um, Ocean at the End of the Lane. I never read any of his stories before that. And I have heard that this one was awesome, so I found it on Oyster, and I thought I'd give it a try and see how I like this one, American Gods. So that's my TBR for now. Um, I will put a, a thing on there down at the bottom showing all of the books that I am reading for whoever is interested in it. Um, I might read more, I might read less, I don't know. We'll see how this month is going to go for me. Um, yeah. So, um, might be having to spend a little bit of time in the hospital because, well, me not, hopefully, but um, my uncle is going to have to have surgery soon, so he praying for me on that, so, so he would be getting better. Um, <laughs> that's about it for now. Uh, love you guys, miss you, and I promise I will be back more often. Thank you.